Hey, what's up? Arky here again. So every now and then we see PvE loot added to the game that turns out to be considerably better than its PvP counterpart. This isn't anything new though. I mean, we've seen this happen in Burning Crusade with the Warglaze. We saw various rogue comps doing ridiculously high damage. It also happened in Wrath of Lich King, if you remember. Some prot warriors were stacking super high block rating with PvE gear and they could actually one-shot people in PvP with uh, Shield Slam. It also happened with various tier set bonuses with Shadow Morn, with Season 8, ICC Trinkets, and more recently it happened in Season 11. We saw tons of cleaves like Legendary RLS and Legendary LSD2 with the DS Trinkets that did ridiculously high damage. Blizzard usually reacts pretty quickly to this and they attempt to fix the issue, but we never really get the result we're hoping for. In Season 11, roughly four weeks after the trinkets went live, they nerfed them in an attempt to make them less bursty, since everybody was using them in PvP. But in the end, even after the nerf, they were still the best trinket. Everybody was using them. I was using the Raid Finder version of that nerf trinket throughout the entire season. That's how good it was. And now with patch 5.2, history is about to repeat itself once again. I have three items in mind, and I also have reasons to believe that these items will be specifically good for elemental shamans, unlike last season. First, this trinket, Unreal Vision of Lei Shen. This trinket increases your crit chance by 100% for 4 seconds and only procs for int users. This is just enough time to do stupid damage. From what we know, it has a 0.5 real ppm. This means on average it'll proc once every 2 minutes. To give you an idea, the Jade Spirit weapon enchant has a 2 real ppm and I have to say it does proc pretty often. So 0.5 real ppm and no internal cooldown, that's not bad. Blizzard is well aware that this trinket could be very powerful in PvP, so they've already confirmed that the proc rate will be much smaller when fighting other players. But honestly, I have the feeling that even if they nerf the proc rate down to one third of its power in PvE, well, it's still going to be a very good trinket. Elemental might just be one of the specs that benefit the most from this trinket since we have crits that deal 250% damage. A nice combo you could do in 4 seconds would be Ancestral Swiftness, Elemental Blast, and Fulmination. Considering everything crits, this should be enough to bring down a high result target down to at least 30%. It's hard to comment on how well this will work out, but it seems like this kind of burst doesn't require any kind of setup. Since the trinket can proc at any given moment, you always have to be ready for it. Some other classes could use this trinket, but they would need so much more setup in order to benefit from it. For instance, Destro's Chaos Ball damage scales with crit rating, so they might be able to do 200% damage with Chaos Ball depending on how the trinket works. Or Boomkins will also be able to roll dots with 100% chance to crit. As soon as they apply the dot, the dot will crit for the rest of the duration and this is going to feed the massive amounts of star search procs as long as the dots are up but like i said these two examples require much more setup than the nsem fulmination combo which you can do at any given moment the other two items i wanted to talk about are these two legendary meta gems these gems have a one real ppm proc rate and as far as i know the procs will remain the same against players the fix blizzard has implemented to coat balance these gems in PvP is to make the proc dispellable, but in all honesty, I don't think anyone is going to try dispelling those proc. And uh, I think the benefits that they offer are very competitive. 20% less physical damage taken while getting cleaved as Ellie is huge. The only real drawback from using these gems is you won't be able to use the new epic meta gem, which is also very nice. So you have to make a choice here. But personally, next season I'll pick up the legendary quest ASAP and I'll try to farm Raid Finder to obtain these items as soon as possible. I think the procs will be very powerful in Arena. And if they're not, well, at least I'll have some fun toys to play with in random battlegrounds. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out.